The survey tool allows you to collect feedback from students in your course from course evaluations, mid-year review, or just content preferences. Setting up a survey is similar to setting up quizzes in D12, but surveys cannot be graded, nor can a survey tool be accessed by our instructors. Only our department administrative assistants will have access to our survey tool. So let's go through and set up a survey. To begin creating your survey, access the course and select more tools, surveys, select new survey and add a name for your survey. When you do your survey, are you going to make it anonymous or are you going to want your students names to show? Most of the time they're going to be anonymous, so you're going to select anonymous and then I'm going to start with adding some questions. The type of questions usually you will have is fill in the blank, multiple choice or even those Likert ones. So I'm going to go through and show you how to create some of those. And I'm just going to select add edit questions and it's just letting you know once you select anonymous you can't undo it so we're just going to continue and now we're here in the library of this survey and we're going to begin by creating sections before we start creating those questions I just want to give you a preview of what a filled out survey does look like so here, if I select uh, the one that's already created and I go to preview, let's take a look at some of them. So here you, we see a section, general information, and then it's asking what program the students are enrolled in, asking a couple questions, and then another section on course evaluation. So this one here is a short answer. This one here is multiple choice. So this is called a Likert question but I do would like this changed a little bit. So you see the issue here is when your students are scrolling to the bottom and they're answering some of these questions that are on the bottom, they now don't know what each of these mean. If you look at this grading one under this section, you'll see that this is a little fewer questions and they can still see, hey, this one, I can still see what this column means. So keep that in mind when you're building your survey is to either break these up into fewer sections, have less questions, uh, just so that your students aren't um, having to continually scroll up, read the section question, and then scroll up to see what am I actually selecting. So now, let's go in and build that survey. so when we start building those questions in this library we're going to start and build that section just like that other course had general information and then stuff on the grades and stuff those are just sections so what you can do is just create a section and we'll just mimic exactly what the other one had which was general information you can decide do you want to show that information to your student or do you want to hide it and I'm just going to click save. Now I'm going to actually start building questions in that general information folder. So I'm going to access it and now I'm going to build the questions. So again, I'm going to start with a multiple choice because that's what we had there before. When I get into the question text, I'm just going to copy and I'm going to always paste as plain text. If you paste from another source, say from Word or something where you're copying that text from, it's not going to make the font exactly the same. So just please try to remember as paste as plain text or control shift V. So there you go and fill out what options are the students going to be presented with this is what you're going to put down in the answer area so i'm going to select just a few just so that you get to see now that i have a couple answers filled out here i'm just going to remove this one and i'm going to click save rather than going through creating those same type of questions i'm going to focus next on creating that likert question so i'm going to go back to the root of the survey and i'm going to create another section now that I have my course section named, I'm just going to click Save. Now I'm going to go into that section and now I'm going to begin creating that Likert question. Select New and select Likert Question. 
You won't need a title here because this is optional, but you want to know it, this introductory text is what you want to instruct your students to do. So I'm just going to copy from the other one so that you get an idea of what kind of information goes in here. And there you go. So we want our students to complete the following statements. Just select which one is right. If you scroll down, now you'll get to see your options. So what the other course had is strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree, and a not applicable. So if we go through, we can easily select that with just going agree. And now we get to put in our statements. I'm just going to fill in a few of these just so that you get the idea. And as you can see, the option here is giving you spots for two, but I'm not done. I want to go in and add maybe about four more. And all you need to do is you can come in up here and you can just select there and you can go add option. So now you'll get to see that those two are still there and it actually gives you a spot for more text. Now that I have a few more filled out, I'm remembering. Remember the other one where the, the text was just too much and the students were going to have to scroll? So maybe I don't want to have a five and six, but maybe I want to create a brand new one. So now I'm just going to delete these. And I'm just going to leave it with just my four, but I want to see what does this look like? So I'm going to select preview. And now we get to see that it's strongly all that there, but you notice that there's not that not applicable here. So let's go back. And you'll see that it says here add a not applicable option. And now we're going to select preview and you get to see that's there. So again, we're going to break this up so that the students don't have to scroll. So I'm going to say that's perfect and we can say save and copy or save and new. So I'm going to copy the same statement and I'm going to continue building my questions. Now I have my two Likert questions created and I'm going to select done editing questions just so that you get an idea of how to create these questions within your survey. It's now taking me back into this survey area. So we're going to keep building this because we're not done yet. You get to see here, you've got this section here, which is general information. You've got that section here, which is course evaluation. So what else can you do within the survey? Well, let's go take a look. Now that I have my survey questions, let's scroll down and see what other options we have. So we do have this option here to add in a description. We have the option here to add in a submission message and also a footer for our survey. So let's go take a look and fill these out. You'll see that this radial dial is automatically selected as off. If you're going to build some text in here and here, you're going to make sure that you're going to want to select that on. So let's go through and let's create some text in this area. So I've added just some basic little text in here and I'm just going to select that on and that's all I'm going to do in here. And you can select a different couple questions per page if you'd like, but generally I would just leave this open here and you're not going to need to shuffle any questions or anything like that for your survey. The next thing we want to do is go to the restrictions tab and you want to select a date and an end date for your survey. So if it's today and I want my students to begin taking it tomorrow morning, at 8.30 and the survey is going to stay open until the 15th at 8 o'clock. We're going to select unhide from users and we're going to display it in the calendar and also how many attempts do you want your students to be able to do. We're going to say in this example I'm going to say a single attempt. They will have the option to edit and then I'm going to click Save. The adding special user access is no different here than it is to creating a special access for a quiz. Maybe there's only a select group of students you needed to access 
the survey for your entire course. If that's what you need, then you would select that special access here and go through there. And then we're going to select save. The last thing that you're going to want to do when you're setting up your survey is set up that report. So here's where you're going to put in your information and have that report directly sent into yourself, which is the admin assistant. So we're going to go add report tight out the report name, and then you're just going to leave these automatically checked off. And then you can put in a date or just have it release immediately and select the role. Most of you will be admin assistant too, and then just click save. And there you go. And then I'm just going to click save and close and your survey is now created. And that's how you create a survey within D12. Thanks for watching.